welcome to Floyd Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Wednesday, the 12th of August 2015. And for me, it's been a quite a day of finishing off the Typhoon. The build itself is completely finished. She's all together now, all the aerials are on, all the little bits and pieces all over it. Tiny little bits of touch up, um, little things that get overlooked as well. Um, certainly things like glue marks. Uh, a couple of little tips for you. Wash is brilliant for it. So sometimes like when we did the actual joining of the hinges and things like that, obviously you've got glue in there. We use the sort of resin glue, the slightly thicker one, um, to put those in and you've got slight shininess. Well, obviously you normally wouldn't get that. So it's quite difficult to hide it. So a little bit of um, normal clay wash, dark dirt wash just over it, track it down there, swipe it off once it's dry with a cotton bud and you're good to go, takes care of all those things. So we went around and did all of those put the aerials on, put all the bits and pieces, and then we gave the full engine a uh, ink wash right the way over it, just to dull it down. Now, I don't know if it looks any different from, from your camera angle, but certainly from my look at it, it's sort of all blended together now. We also went around and we've done the actual uh, new parts, as that's what the idea was. These are all new parts that are gonna be fitted to this one. Um, so we got some old, some new, so it looked like this has got new replacement parts for all the, the front end that it's taken off. And I must admit, I do say it, and I'm gonna say it again, I love this color. This is aluminium from the AK, which, all right, it's not perfect and it isn't the correct stuff, but it's just their straightforward aluminium. Um, it has a real luster. When it gets caught in the light, it has a very natural metal look to it that actually I like, okay? So we just done it with the aluminium right the way over this one, uh, and I was gonna wash it and all the rest of it just to bring it to life, but actually it wouldn't be, it would be new. That's the whole point of this one. So that's what we're going for. Speaking of AK, just we mention it, um, two of you have mentioned that you've actually had uh, FedEx deliveries replacements have come through. Mine hasn't, yours has, but a lot of you said you mentioned it as I mentioned it as well. The same day that I said it, you shot them emails and your replacements have come through in the last couple of days. So if we are all waiting on our replacement ones, perhaps they're gonna turn up. Not sure, but um, as I say, mine haven't yet, but I know yours have. So there is signs of movement out there, so I'm not gonna go on about it quite yet. Anyway, I've spent the rest of the afternoon really editing all the remaining parts of this one to get us up to this level, okay? So part 13 of this is available on the site now. You can go off and you can see this one um, and it's gonna talk about a lot about the harnesses. We use the uh, HG, uh, was it HGW harness system on this one. First time I've used it, we reviewed it, we did like it, it was you know, seem to be the answer to everyone's prayers. Now I've used it as well, I love this stuff. I'm not gonna use anything else. The thing I like about it is when you put the buckles on uh, and all the things, because it's soft fabric, it goes on really easy. It's not like when you're trying to get it over photo etch and trying to bend it around, it just doesn't go or doesn't like it. This works just like real fabric. You put it in your hand, get some heat generated, the oil's off your hand as well. It softens it up so when you plonk it in, it just looks so natural. And to be honest, I've just thrown mine in. I haven't even glued it in there. It's glued at the top and the rest of it's just dumped in there. And it just looks natural the way it sags down and holds and all the rest of it. Again, it gave it a little bit of ink wash right the way over to the top of it and it has colored it all perfectly and I used acrylic uh, wood deck tan XF78 on the back side because obviously it's only printed on one side we did it on the white side and it absolutely looks fantastic I can't I can look in at the back I've got one where it's twisted right the way around and you can't see the difference at all and with the wash on there it just kills it back takes it back a couple of shades makes it look older makes it look worn and everything else like that it's been a great build in the way that okay some things didn't work out it's a shame Airfix is plastic is cheap because cheap is nasty and a nasty from our point of view was we had all the burring that we had to take care of on the every single part on this one. Airfix for some reason use a really cheap plastic, okay? What this actually means is it's not very crisp when it comes out of the mold, it's soft out of the mold as well. I don't know if they're spitting them out a little bit too quick before they're totally dried, but definitely you get a lot of burring. So I would say a good third of the work on this entire kit has been going around and taking care of all that burring, the seams between the two molds as they come together. And because you've got pipe work and all things like that, it takes absolutely forever to do it. But as I said yesterday, and I think I say on this video for this one as well, it is nice because then I know I've cleaned up every single part and everything goes together and you do a lot more test fitting when you do it this way as well. So the bit where you're trying to poke pipes through holes and that, they won't go because the burring's in the way. You've cleaned it, you've made sure you've had a very nice fit with it. Generally, I've had no fit issues. I know there's the horror story about trying to put this all this cowling uh, and all the panels on the front end. Um, I 
sidestepped and dodged that one by having it all open, but apparently it doesn't fit. I can't comment, obviously I haven't done it, but I can, can say that the worries which some people have is with the multi-part around the fuselage, the way it sort of goes in and all those areas, if you take your time, clean up your parts, plenty of dry fitting, dry fit, dry fit. When you're happy with it, you know it's in there and it's sitting in there nicely. Just use, you know, liquid action glues, capillary action, touch, let it flow and let it do its bit and you'll be absolutely fine. Now, originally I was gonna go down B&Q, uh, a local sort of hobby depot, and we were gonna get actually a piece of MDF for it. I was gonna put it on that. A couple of you came up with some great ideas last night when you messaged me and we spoke about it and they said photo frame. So I've got a 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter photo frame, which is basically the size of my cutting mat, okay? And what we're gonna do is put in a bottom bit into it, but we're gonna use the edge and the blackness all the way around to get it. So this is gonna have a very simple sort of grass uh, top with it, with a little bit of runway perhaps on a corner as if this is off the edge because it's in bits and all the rest of it. And we're gonna do things with grass work and mud and stuff like that underneath it so it looks like it stood there being worked on uh, and things like that. So that is the idea with it. So it's gonna be nice and simple. I might even get a nice little brass plate done for it that'll stick onto the edge and everything else like that. But from my point of view, the build part is done and then next week doing the diorama base will be something I can do along as we make our way along. So lots of fun with that one. There is some photos up on Facebook now if you want to have a look at those as well and I'll put a few more onto our actual Flory Models Facebook page if you want to have a look at it as it's completed state as it sits here but I will do proper photos and all the rest of it and a proper reveal video for it once it's on its diorama base. Anyway, so next up for me, a couple of questions that came up yesterday which I can answer right now is um, obviously the uh, Ducati to be honest, this is Steve's. I own a set for this one because he's got it. But for the Ducati uh, 1199, I've got the actual upgrade set for it, which has got the front fork set uh, and it's got lots of tiny little bits in here and things like that. So I've got that to go with it. The Ducati Red, this is the uh, color match uh, touch up one for it. So it'll be enough to paint the entire thing. So we'll be good with that. But this is actually the, uh, the actual touch up one for it. And then also we've got the Red Bull Racing RB6 as well. And again, we've got a color match paint for that one, which is from one of our good friends here at Flory Models. So Matt at um, 8 Ball um, Restorations, is he under these days? Um, they're car painters. They specialize in all very high tech stuff. And uh, he got the paint for me. So the answer to that one is where did the paint come from? It came from Matt at 8 Ball. Okay, so have a word with him, he is on the forum as well, uh, and you can do it like that. So color match paint, so we don't have any problem with those. And we're gonna be talking about gloss work again, because obviously we've got a lot of it to go on these, using bigger needles this time. And also, we've also got lacquer for it, so we've got the proper thick gooey lacquer, and it's uh, thinner, and it's activator, okay? So we've got all the systems to go through to give these absolutely fantastic finishes and things like that. So really looking forward to those. Tomorrow I've got kit reviews for you, so we've got various things coming up. So we're gonna be looking at the Badger paints, see exactly how they get on, all right? So I'm gonna be doing them tomorrow morning. I've also got, where have they gone? I've moved them, they're over there. I've got the X-Wing coming up on review, and we've also got the Snow Speeder as well. So we've got two great kits coming up for a review from the Bandai series and everything else like that. So, till tomorrow, everybody. Happy morning. Take care.